Hello. Hey, hi, everyone. We have four Hana training series. So in the continuation of the last session, we will see more about. So in the last session, we have seen the ATC errors. How can we check the ATC errors? Okay. So here is my ATC. Yeah. How we are having three steps to check uh, the ATC. Okay. First is we can check using ATC decode. Okay. Second is whenever we are moving our transport request and there is some inconsistencies into the object and uh, uh, into the TR, at that time it will give us the error message. Also, ATC is completely integrated in, in SEAT. So from SEAT also, we can check this. Okay. And also we have seen from the Eclipse. So I will show you all the scenarios quickly. Give me a moment. Yeah. Yeah. So again, we log into the backend system. Okay. So here, this is my ATC decode. ATC. Where what we have to do is first we have to go to schedule one, then we have to click on create symbol, then we have to give the name. Okay, and then we have to click on okay, then we have to give the package name. That's all what we have to do. Then what we have to do is we have to select our series name, then we have to click on schedule. Here you can see uh, using ATC, we can schedule it in background also. Okay. So if we will go back to check this, we will go to monitor and control runs and we execute this. Here you can see click on our description from where this is this description is coming. Okay, I will execute this once. So here in the uh, sorry, in the results tab you can see. Okay, these are some problems here in Toga. Report. Okay, so if I will show you my report also once again. So this is my report. We'll go to AC38. This is my report. Where in this report, what you can see is you can see I'm selecting the data from S book table in Toga, the blue TS book, on based on some condition. Again, we are doing the read table, but by using the binary search. So what is the prerequisite for the binary search? So the prerequisite for binary search is we have to, sorry, that internal table data should be in sorted format, okay? But here you can see no sorting of data. We cannot think, uh, sorry, we cannot only say here in, in, in database, the data is in sorted format, okay? So this, it will it will give an error here. He, uh, in select query, we should have the Primary here order by close also order by primary search should also be there. Then again you can see this select query given over here. Again what I'm doing is I am deleting this internal table. Okay on comparing, but as I shown you show you here also in our PPT, we cannot use delete adjacent. Okay, delete adjacent we cannot use. So here that's why it will be because we have not uh, ordered this internal table. So it will give me the error. Okay. Now let's go back to the third process. Okay. The next process for single program. How can we check the ATC checks? Go to program, go to check, and you can see the ATC checks. Okay. So it will take all the look. This is this is ATC checks. Okay. So here you can see all those issues are here. One priority one value is very mandatory. These are the only errors which you were saying in the ATC decode in the last session we have seen. Also, what we can do is we can go to SEAT. Okay. Here ATC check, we will go today. We can select the name. Okay. These are some of the, some of the, okay, some of the errors are there. This fine, guys. And the last step is we can see through web development, sorry, we can see through ADD, a web development tool. Okay, so this is my AWAVAP development tool. I will right click here, I will click on run as, then I will go to, what is that? 
I will go to above test code with or you can go with above test code with with variant. I will click on OK. It will take some time and it will it will tell us the this uh, ATC check and assume there is this program. Okay. Hope everything is clear, guys. So you can see these are some of the issues over here. Okay. All right. So we have seen till now from last two sessions, we will also okay, sir. We are to just testing. Sorry, we are to just seeing the errors, but how can you fix it? So we, I will tell you what's went wrong. So let's fix all these errors. Yeah, how do we fix them? And see here also is telling you a step point where the error is. Okay, here it's also telling us using ADT, it is also telling us, yes, sir, here we are having the error. Here you are having the errors. It will tell us, yes, sir, these at these places you are having some issues. Okay, is this clear, right? So that's the beauty of ABAP development tool. When you do the analysis, it's exactly telling you where the problem. You see, and it's also giving you a cube fix, remember. This is sorry, cube fix using. Remember, I was telling you about cube fix, okay? Uh, like on fly, I told you when we started development into our ADT tool, okay? So it says append order by here. If I will go there, what it's saying is append. What is this? Okay. Sorry. So it will say it's saying what it is saying is search problematic statements for it and select without order by close. What it is saying is sir, this is without order by close. Okay. And what the solution is saying is append order by primary key to the select statement. Okay. That's a cube fix feature which SAP introduced with ABAP development tool, our ADT. It's not there in SAP GUI. It's only and only with ABAP development tool. Okay. And it's already telling you the cube fix. Okay. And for adding that cube fix, what I will do is I will double click. Look, guys, please uh, see here. Okay. Nothing is there. Okay. And as soon as I will double click, what it will do? It will automatically. Okay. Yes, yeah, soon. Okay, just wait. Okay, so as soon as we will double click, it will append the order by close order by primary key with this select query. Okay, so one second, guys. Let's try again. What's the issue? Okay, one second. Uh, let me unlock from back end. Uh, do the SM12 execute. Let me see this log. Okay. Okay. Uh, sorry, guys. Polite. Right. Yeah, right, guys. So I have deleted the log for this from backend. So what I will do is, or we can delete it from here also. By pressing Control Six, okay, and I will go here only SM12. Next time, if the same as will come, I will show you, okay. Or the way you will think is that uh, we are still using backend, okay. So what it will do is, it will it's saying is append order by primary key to the select statement. What we have to do is just double click, okay. Look. One second. Look, guys, it will automatically add order by primary key with this select query. Okay, I will again save. Okay, I will activate this. Okay, I will activate this. What I will do is, if I will go to run as same process view dash test cockpit with this, I will click on OK. Look, guys, it, it will take some time to open. So it's a cube feature of Adapt Development Tools. Okay. As soon as you will click here, it will solve the quick fix. I just click there, double click, and look, guys. It will automatically add the look, guys. Both the two errors, whichever was coming here and here, with the delete statement, both has gone. Now, which are uh, once again? Okay. Okay. So it is showing only one error here, you can see. So why what's this error? 
is saying ki sir please add order by your role so with this select query okay it is clear guys okay look i will click here if i will click here what it will do is one second yeah game here oh man run as a web test book okay Once again, it will take some time. So similarly to the next one, select here. See here we can also keep fix with this select query also. Okay, I don't know why it's not opening. It's also same key without order by pillars. Okay, we can also add this here. We will add here. So no, this time why it's not taking, but uh, it will work. Okay, I'll save, check, activate, run as. I will test for it with this. Look, guys, our HTTP checks will completely go this time. Okay, it is this clear, guys. Please perform this check runs into your system also. Okay, download this. Everything you will do. Okay, congratulations to all of you. Look here. Now you are ready to move to Hana database. Your custom code will work fine in Hana database. Yes. You can go back here, and above also you can see all the crash check on a website. So you see these with priority. Previously there is was having three priority issues, but now here you can see there is nothing is there, guys. Okay, everything we have fixed it, and it's a very simple process to fix it from the KDP. Okay, is this clear, guys? Okay. Okay, guys. This is how we can fix it from the ADT. Is this clear, guys? So SAP ADT tool and ATC ABAP test cockpit tool using SAP UI and how to use it in Eclipse also actually producing the same result. It's your choice. My personal recommendation. I choose for you. Keep please go with ABAP development tool in Eclipse. Use there. Okay. You can also do it at package level. Okay. Here also also this is possible. So this is the best way to do. Things in today's context, it is still your own choice how you wish to do it. Okay, it's not that sir, you have to use from our agency tool or not. Okay, it is clear, guys. So now one more thing which you may think is whenever we are moving from back end here. Okay, uh, whenever we are moving our TR from back end, so sometimes it will show us some agency check errors. But whenever we will double click there, it will show us that you can fix it using. Uh, once again, yeah, you can fix it using pseudo codes. Okay, so regarding to pseudo code, we will see that in the next session. So uh, that's all for this session. We will discuss that what are pseudo codes and uh, do we need to use pseudo codes or do we don't need to use pseudo codes? Okay, so we will see all those these things in the next session related to pseudo codes. Okay, thank you so much. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye bye.